Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。鉄火巻きはマグロを使うので、中心は赤いですが、長崎ではブリ、ハマチ、カンパチなど、新鮮な白い魚を使うので、鉄火巻きは白いそうです。今日はその白い鉄火巻きを作ります。First, let's make the sushi vinegar. Combine the rice vinegar, salt, and sugar. Mix it well. The salt and sugar doesn't have to be completely dissolved at this moment. Next, prepare fresh cooked piping hot rice. Stir the sushi vinegar thoroughly and pour it over the hot rice. If the rice is cooled, it will not absorb the sushi vinegar well. Move the rice paddle quickly as if you are cutting the rice and distribute the sushi vinegar. This slashing motion will keep the rice from becoming sticky while spreading the vinegar evenly. The rice for sushi is made with a little less water than usual because the vinegar is added later. When the vinegar is distributed evenly, use a fan to remove the excess heat. This will help to remove the excess moisture as well, giving the rice a glossy texture. Using a tightly squeezed damp kitchen cloth, gather the rice from the paddle and the edge of the bowl. Cover the sushi rice with a damp kitchen cloth to prevent it from drying out. Let's prepare the sashimi grade yellow tail, also known as buri. Remove the excess moisture thoroughly with paper towels. Cut off the left and right sides of the yellow tail to make it roughly the length of the nori seaweed. Slice the yellow tail into long strips. The length of the strips should be about 21 cm. The yellow tail is fresh and chewy, so it is best to cut it lengthwise into 5 mm thick pieces. Tekkamaki usually refers to a red tekkamaki made with tuna. However, in Nagasaki Prefecture, fresh white fleshed fish with a chewy texture was easily available and also popular. So, the most common type of tekkamaki was made with white fleshed sashimi. Recently, with the development of freezing technology and the increasing popularity of tuna, Red tekkamaki seems to be becoming more popular. Transfer the yellow tail to a tray and add a little soy sauce. Add some wasabi to taste. Coat the yellow tail with the seasoning evenly. Now, let's make the tekkamaki. Place a bamboo sushi mat with a smooth flat side facing up. Also, the end with the cotton strings attached should be placed at the top. Place the toasted nori seaweed with a smooth glossy side facing down. On the rough side of the nori, you should see multiple vertical lines created when the nori was dried. Use half of the sushi rice to make one sushi roll. Divide the sushi rice into several portions and place them on the rough side of the nori. Starting from about 2 cm below the top of the nori, place a small portion of sushi rice and spread it horizontally with your other hand. The layer of the rice should be the same thickness as possible. If the rice sticks to your hands, moisten your hands with vinegar water, also known as. To make it easier to work with, take another portion of sushi rice and spread it out as well. The thickness of the rice tends to be thinner at the edges of the nori, so make sure it is the same thickness as the center. Now, the toasted nori should be covered with a thin layer of sushi rice except for the top 2 cm. Place two shiso leaves onto the rice slightly below the center. You can use more shiso leaves since they help to remove any unwanted odor from the sashimi. Next, arrange the yellow tail. 
If the soy sauce drips from the sashimi, use a paper towel to remove the excess liquid and place the yellow tail on top of the shiso leaves. This time, we use a relatively small amount of soy sauce, so there seems to be very little liquid. If you are using four pieces of yellow tail, place the thin yellow tail first, then the two wider yellow tail pieces on top of each other, and finally the other thin yellow tail. If you place them in this way, it is easier to roll them into a round shape. Cover the top of the yellow tail with two shiso leaves. To roll the sushi, lift the bottom edge of the sushi mat with your thumbs and hold the yellow tail in place with your other four fingers. Then tightly wrap it around and tighten the sushi roll. Pull the sushi roll toward you. Partially remove the end of the sushi mat to check if the sushi is rolled properly. And then tighten it again. Continue to roll until the end of the toasted nori is placed at the bottom of the sushi roll. Since the left and right ends of the sushi roll easily become loose, lightly press the sides with your fingers while holding the sushi roll with your other hand. Remove the sushi mat from the tekkamaki. Let's cut the tekkamaki. Cut off the yellow tail that is sticking out from the side. Cut off the other side as well. The sushi roll is often cut into 8 slices, but since we want it to be bite-sized, we'll cut into slightly thinner pieces. Before cutting, Wipe the knife blade with a damp cloth to lightly moisten it. If the rice sticks to the blade, it will not cut cleanly, so clean the blade with a damp cloth after each slice. Now we have 10 slices. Arrange the slices onto a plate to make the cross sections more presentable. Yellow tail, hamachi, Hiramasa and Kampachi have a firm, chewy texture when fresh. If you can find a fresh, white flesh to sashimi, try making it into sushi rolls. You'll be hooked on its deliciousness. The yellow tail is marinated, so you can enjoy it without any sauce. But you can add a little soy sauce and wasabi to the sashimi part to taste. Good luck in the kitchen! ランチのメニュー表です。ハンバーグステーキコースにしようかな。お店自慢の特製ニンニクスープですよ。スープはさらっとしてるのにニンニクの味や香りが強くてニンニク好きにはたまりませんね。おかわりしたいくらいです。サ